Seminole County deputies say 29-year-old Grant Amato shot and killed his parents and his brother inside their Chuliota home. They say the murders happened after his dad confronted him over his online addictions. News 6's Vanessa Ariza first broke these new details on News 6 at noon. She joins us live from the Seminole County Jail where Amato is being held tonight. And Vanessa, since noon he has had his first court appearance. Did he say anything during that appearance? He didn't, Lisa, and be quite honest with you, it was one of the most uh, quick first appearances that I've personally been in. Within a matter of minutes, he stood silent behind his defense attorney. His defense attorney speaking with the media moments after he was denied no bond by the judge. 29-year-old Grant Amato stood behind his defense attorney, Jeff Dowdy, this afternoon during his first appearance. That probable cause from the circuit court and the arrest warrant will hold. Not saying a word as the judge issued no bond for the man. Clearly there was a detachment from seeing him. It's just not something you run across where there's just no uh, emotional uh, emotions to speak of, which raises obviously red flags that there's some, something's wrong. This morning, a six page arrest affidavit was released detailing Friday's shooting and issues the family had had in the past. According to the report and statements from the girlfriend of Amato's brother, Cody, who was killed, Grant had been having arguments with the family about an online interaction with a woman from Bulgaria. The victim's girlfriend said Grant had stolen $200,000 from the family and wired it to the woman overseas to continue communication with her. The report says the family had had enough and told Grant he needed to check into a rehab facility in South Florida, requesting he stay for 60 days. Last month, his parents and brother drove him down, but he left after about two weeks. Obviously, I think there's some mental health issues. There was a history a few months ago where he had checked into an internet and sex addiction uh, facility in Fort Lauderdale. He had walked off there. There were some issues, of course, with the family. According to the report, last Thursday night, Grant's father found out he was still having contact with the woman via Twitter. He and his father got into an argument over it. Grant began packing his items. All the while, his brother Cody was headed home after learning about the argument. Fast forward the next morning, and the well-being check began the triple homicide investigation. And Amato stands behind his innocent statement saying that he uh, did not kill his uh, parents or his brother. Now, what is not being said, what was not released in that six page affidavit is where is this gun that was used in the shooting as well as who does this gun actually belong to? We're waiting to get those answers. But coming up tonight at five, we're going to go into what Amato told deputies when he spoke to them after that shooting. We'll have that for you coming up tonight at five. But for now, live at the Seminole County Jail, Vanessa Ariza getting results. News 6. Vanessa, thank you.